state battle. Ohio Bobcats, Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. Uh, we've got uh, basically at near a pick them in this game uh, pretty much uh, across the board. We're seeing Ohio one, one and a half point road favorites, 50 and a half the total uh, in this game. I think the total is just too low, honestly, in this game. I- I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Ohio Bobcats offense. Curtis Rourke just laid absolute waste to that Buffalo Bulls defense last week. Uh, I split that game. I got it completely wrong with Buffalo. Uh, they ended up losing 45-24, the Bulls, in that game to Ohio. But I did cash the over uh, in that Buffalo-Ohio game. And Curtis Rourke playing well uh, right now uh, for this team. I think he's getting better in the passing game. They've got some weapons. The O-line's been good. Uh, but their defense is still a little bit leaky. Uh, it was better against Buffalo. I will say this. It was probably one of the better defensive efforts of the entire season. Better than the Northern Illinois performance, in my opinion, on defense because, you know, they faced Buffalo at full strength. Remember, Rocky Lombardi didn't play for Northern Illinois when Ohio played them. So I think that was an even better uh, defensive performance from uh, Ohio against Buffalo in the victory. But now they go on the road, uh, and you look at uh, on the road this year, uh, we've seen them beat down a struggling Western Michigan team, lose to Kent State 31-24, did cover both road games though, Ohio. Miami O got Brett Gabbert back uh, a couple of games ago, struggled against Western Michigan. He didn't look like he was 100% in that game. He was a lot better against Akron, although as we know, Akron not a very good defense or a good football team, and they end up winning that game 27-9 last week, but definitely now third game back from injury for Brett Gabbert for Miami. I think that offense should have a good performance here, especially uh, on their home field. Uh, it's an offense that's kind of been up and down. Now, Miami always trended strong to the under, 6-0 and to the under. It's kind of been a little bit the opposite here for Ohio. I just thought with the way Ohio's offense is moving, its total looked a little bit too low. Let's also keep in mind last year with these two teams uh, in Ohio, Peden Stadium uh, P- uh, in Athens, Ohio, Uh, Ohio was a seven-point home dog. They won outright, and the final score was 35-33. It flew over the total. So I like the over here. I'd actually lean a little to Miami O as a home dog. I think Ohio, after a big win last week against Buffalo, you got to go on the road, a rivalry game. I actually think now with Gabbert back, Miami's a little bit undervalued. I thought Miami could win the MAC and certainly the East Division before the season started. But then Gabbert got hurt, and they, you know they haven't really been able to get things going. But here they are, four and five, two more wins. They can still get to a bowl game. I think there's a pretty important game for Miami. It, it is for Ohio too because they're in contention for the division. But I'd say be careful playing it on the road here with Ohio because it's it's they had that great performance against Buffalo and yet this line has basically been stuck at one one and a half there's been no movement toward Ohio I think that's a telling sign maybe we have a live home dog here with the uh, Miami O side what do you think here Connor Ohio Miami O yeah that's why I'm not too crazy about this one even though I think they're the better team uh, Ohio is it's just heading on the road here we mentioned it last week. Rourke's been, I think, the best in the MAC, uh, and he proved it again against Buffalo. They were really, really good. Took care of business that you talked about. It went over. You know what? Ohio, though, against losing teams has played to the under, and then you went to the other side with the Miami, Ohio. They've been under all year. You know, even against Kent State, some of these teams, uh, that was 27 24. I would get this over, though, um, or right near there. I just. I don't want anything to do with this because I lean under, but this might just be too low in a Mac game. Like you mentioned, Um, Miami O's defense has been solid and Ohio's offense has been really good. And since Gabbard's been in the offense, been a little bit better, but you know, they beat Akron. I mean, solid win 27, nine, but nothing crazy. Um, And I go back to them losing to Western Michigan and that dud a couple weeks ago. So ah, I just don't love it. I think Ohio's the better team. Uh, but this won't be an easy one for them. And, uh, you know, right now I lean under. I just – I want this to be higher. I think this total's kind of right right where it should be. I was hoping for like a 54, 55 and look at the under. So in the end I might just be off. 